Yeah, no, look, uh, difficult game in prospect. I think uh, if you look at uh, the two teams, um, they come in with on the back of two interesting uh, scenarios. And of course, uh, both the teams are working to, to try to to improve the performances. I don't think uh, either one of us is, is very happy with where we are. Uh, but I think very early in the season, we, we are content and uh, we know where we're going. But we've also watched Chiefs extensively and there's a lot of work that has been done and and there's uh, big, big, big improvements in relation to how they play and uh, uh, Coach Stewart has done uh, with his technical team have done a very good job in already uh, putting a, a, an imprint on, 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 on the team and, and uh, you, you only go into uh, the analysis and in the data to, to see, I mean, for an example, before the coach arrived, they were averaging 40 passes before a box entry. Now, uh, 34 passes before a box entry. They take a little bit less now, 110 seconds before they are in your box, creating a chance, as opposed to the 146 seconds that they used to take before. So uh, when the coach speaks of uh, transition and, and, and the work that they've done in the past, you can already see the personality and the imprint of, 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 of and a sign of good coaching. And, and clearly we are up against a very good team that is well coached and uh, our expectation is, is that of a very, very good match. Look, I, I think uh, we spoke a little bit about it just uh, after the, the Golden Arrows match. Um, the conundrum for us is, is, is really uh, the blessing that we have in relation to, to having top players. And when you have top players, it means uh, during the FIFA break, uh, you get a little bit of a headache in relation to players going to to their national teams, and and uh, it becomes very difficult to to put in the work and and trying to improve certain schemes and certain things that you you you, you want to work on. But we tried very hard to to try to improve certain elements of our game that we are not very happy with, and uh, and of course uh, we said even before, you've got two ways to improve the team. The one is through the window and try to, to, to improve the quality by, by, by reinforcing the squad. And, and the other is by investing time onto the pitch. And uh, now is, is, uh, is, is only focus is about being on the pitch, working on, on, on the pitch. And it becomes very difficult when you don't have all your players. Uh, so for us, the biggest priority was um, to make sure that we get some of our our players on on on, on the injury list back uh, and try to to work on the rehabilitation of um, Shishi, uh, Lebusa, uh, Gaston, Serenio, and try to make sure that they they they're ready and well back. So, but uh, good work from from uh, from our medical department, our conditioning department. They've they've invested a lot. They put a lot of hours into into trying to make sure that we've got a clean bill of health. And we are in that space at this moment where we've almost got everybody back. Um, and uh, I think I think in relation to that, in answering your question, it was a, a well-deserved and well-needed uh, FIFA break. Uh, the 10 days allowed us to to focus on, on, on trying to get some of our important players back. Yeah, it becomes difficult uh, to to use every every situation with a blanket approach provides us with with, with problems because, I mean, you've got the Bafana players who, who were in the country and uh, immediately after the match, uh, they are released from camp and um, fortunately that that gives you an extra day or two uh, to try and rehabilitate and refresh. Uh, rehabilitate if you've got one or two niggling sort of uh, situations like with them, Toby, nothing serious, but there's a niggle here and there. Um, and then you've got a situation like you've got with Divine Longa, you know, I mean, Divine only landed uh, at all time, but uh, 4.30 a.m. in the morning. But what we do try to do with regards to that is one, we, are, we try to be extremely proactive. Uh, we don't release players at sundown without knowing the itinerary. We want to know where they're flying to, on which day, how they connect, and how long the flights are. And and at times, if we if we are dissatisfied with the plan and 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 we feel that it would compromise our preparations, we get in touch with the association and try to 
to have some form of support and provide some form of support to make sure that uh, we try and get the players uh, as quickly back as possible so that we've got uh, time before, not just for, 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 for recovery, uh, but also for preparation, because we, we want to also have time with the players on the pitch uh, to prepare for a specific opponent. And, and Kaiser Chiefs is a team that will always provide you with a lot of challenges. Uh, and if you are not prepared uh, tactically to, to solve those uh, problems on the pitch, then you go with the, already with the, a disadvantage and you don't want to you don't want to go into a big game like that and, and, and feeling uh, as if you you are not as well prepared for it. So uh, we individualize uh, the scenarios and uh, and try to make sure that we come up with with different uh, and also it's based on the number of minutes. Uh, we try to track how many minutes they've played uh, for for their for the national teams. In the one match, uh, you you see whether they've played ninety or they were subbed off, and 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 maybe even it helps. To have him, Toby Mbala, who does not play as more than 70 minutes uh, and, and with an underload sort of situation, it allows his recovery to be a lot faster than uh, Roshim Duruk, for an example, who's done two times 90 minutes. So, of course, uh, we try to make sure that we tailor make every situation in relation to, 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 to the picture that is, is presented in front of us. And, uh, and as we go, like with every other game, uh, we then make the decision based on that uh, as close to, to, to match day as possible. Yeah. I, I've got huge respect and ad admiration for Coach Stewart. Um, uh, and I think he knows. Um, we have a lot of discussions. We've had a lot of meetings for, for breakfast and coffee and, and to discuss football. And uh, in fact, I'm even, I, at times I'm even in, in awe of, of the amount of wisdom and knowledge that goes even beyond football. I mean, there's a book that uh, the coach recommended to me. Uh, it was, I think it was the 12 rings. And, uh, and then, and, and, and you, you know, when you speak to Coach Stewart, he starts speaking to you about and educating you about the martial arts and, and how, how uh, you can find some of these principles in the martial arts and uh, incorporate them into football. But anyway, that's not for today's talk, but I, I was just, you know, it's just exemplifying the fact that, I mean, we, if we have coffee and we talk about martial arts, I think uh, it goes to show that I think there's a, there's a very good rapport and a good feeling uh, between the two of us. But, and I also don't think he would have asked me to come to Bafana at a certain stage. I mean, he was the coach that said, that extended the invite to when I was at Pirates and he said, look, I'd love, I'd love to work with you. And I don't think he would have done that if uh, the relations were not so good. So huge respect. I look up to him. I, uh, I admire him for the career that he's had and, and the success that he's achieved. And uh, he's one of the, the people that I, 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 I take as role models. You know, I, I also have uh, the view of football the same way that he has. So in, in relation to that, there's quite a lot that brings us together. No, no, no. Um, thanks, Mazola. Uh, and you owe me coffee, Mazola, because I, 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 know, I know you've got an unwritten law or rule where you don't reveal your sources, but I'd love to know who your sources are because when you write stories that a lot, have a lot more fact than fiction, I'm very interested to find out who, 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 who gives you a lot of these stories, you know. But anyway, yesterday I read the article. <laughs> I read the article and I was expecting the question already, you know, um, and um, yeah, it's a difficult one to, to answer, you know, it's, 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 it's a bit difficult uh, and, and not to come across as, as trying not to, to be honest, but at the same time also to try to, to, to protect the club. We've got a very, very big game on the weekend. We've, we, our focus and our energies must be on that. But also in uh, in the corner of, of 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 my brain, there's also the the importance of of of, of clarifying some of the things, and it's a pity because uh, sometimes some of the things that come out uh, come out, and you you're like, oh my goodness, how did this get out? And for me, that that is probably the biggest problem is uh, having a mole and having uh, people that that um, that report certain things into the media. We should not have. Uh, uh, people in, in in our club that go about that sort of behavior that should not that should not be allowed. 
because in any organization, in any household, and whenever there's any relations, uh, of course, there's going to be one or two squabbles and disagreements. Um, and those should not be blown out of proportion. But, uh, you know, I get disappointed personally in my own personal capacity. I get disappointed when uh, I'm, I'm on the other side. And maybe this question, to be honest with you, maybe this question should be given to Coach Magnova because um, the, the, what was reported in the media, there is an element of truth to it. Uh, but for me, the coach apologized and, and, and we move on and we focus on what's important for Mavalodi Sundowns and that's it, you know. Uh, so I've got nothing more to say about it. Look, uh, yeah, you're right. A good 45 minutes from Kaiser Chiefs, but an excellent 35 minutes from Mamelodi Sundowns. I think, I think uh, we play, we played that for the players, and we 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 showed how how much control we have and how difficult it is against a big team to to have so much dominance. You know, so so I I I, I know, and and out of respect for Coach Stewart, I know how good that 45 minutes was, but. I think for us, our focus is, is to try to, to look at ourselves and, and see where we are and how we would like to improve. And of course, uh, the basis of that is to try to, to, to move from the foundation that was laid and that 35 minutes was exceptional. We were, we were dominant. Uh, we, our pressing schemes were correct. Our, our build-up schemes were correct. Our ability to find certain areas in the pitch uh, to try to stretch uh, Kaiser Chiefs was, was, was correct. And, and even the balance uh, in relation to, to, to the problems that they pose for you. I mean, they, they've always, and even in the last few games, the position that Nurkovic has been, has been played is, is giving teams a lot of problems because in the one moment you want to try to high press, but then you've got to cover the possibilities of that long ball to, to Nurkovic and, 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 and the second ball that comes from there. And you can see how, how clearly uh, outlined uh, the team is and 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 how how much of a of a clear tactical culture they they they've started now to build. But we've also got uh, a lot of uh, very interesting schemes, very interesting ways of 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 doing certain things on the pitch. And 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 Chiefs have also got to solve some of our problems. You know, so the good forty five minutes that uh, they showed. Uh, we are aware of, but I think uh, Chiefs is also aware of the very good. 35 minutes that we had in the first half. We're just excited. We want the supporters back on the on the, on the seats. You know, we we can't wait to have the Masanda Wanas with us. So, if uh, if it takes being vaccinated to 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 get uh, the stadiums to give us the same feeling. I mean, you watch you watch now uh, the Euro qualifiers and you watch uh, the English Premier League and and uh, the La Liga, and you see how the game feels a lot more different because of the energy that is just uh, imparted by the supporters. And, and you're saying, goodness me, uh, I can't wait until we, we, we get to experience the same. So yeah, we, we are excited. And uh, hopefully what it means is that we're moving towards a direction of, of normalizing things and, and, and the normality of football. The normality of football is that the game belongs to the supporters and the spectators, and uh, uh, we are just we are just um, in support. If it means that uh, we move towards that direction, or we can open the gates again and we can have bums on seats, um, then uh, we will always support that motion. I think I think the coach is one hundred percent correct, and and who better to give you an answer that relates to the national teams than Coach Stuart Baxter? So I plead the fifth on this one. Uh, I think you, we've got enough uh, experience, wisdom from Coach Stewart to be able to to uh, to assist, you know, Coach Hugo Bros. So I don't think I'm the right person, to be honest with you, to to comment on on that issue. Um, no injury update. We 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 have Modao still uh, still struggling a little bit, um, uh, and we have to see. What is his uh, his state? He's, he's he's probably out of this match. Um, not ready. And we still have the long term injury of Lebu, and that's for us is a massive massive blow. But um, we've got enough in, within the squad to be able to to deal with that.
Um, but other than that, it's one or two niggling injuries. Temba Zwane still needs to pass a fitness test. Musa Libusa still needs to pass a fitness test and, and complete a full training session. Um, but uh, apart from that, we are moving into a very good space and a lot of kudos and a lot of credit and, and praise needs to go to our medical department, the way they've, they've dealt with the players during this, uh, this period when we've had... <clears throat> excuse me, when we've had a couple of off days, they've come in, uh, into the office, they've, they've had a couple of extra sessions with some of the players. So um, yeah, fantastic work being done behind the scenes. And I think we sit with a, a much healthier squad uh, going into a very difficult time for us because as we go into the next couple of matches, we then have another FIFA break. But after that, it's, uh, it really, really is until uh, January. It really is a cutthroat and uh, we, need, we need everybody. So we are sitting in a position where it looks much better than uh, what it looked prior to the FIFA break. I was just about to say the same. I, <laughs> you read my mind. It's, it's not a must have. It's a nice to have. Um, and it's a nice, nice to have. You know, we, we, it's something that we want. And uh, it's, a, it's, it's uh, I mean, to win over an arch rival. Uh, one of the big teams in the country uh, is, is a very good feeling, a good confidence booster uh, going into the season. And um, we saw what it did for us last season. I mean, one, the first game for us last season was Chiefs and, and we won 3-0 and that, that brought the level of confidence and, and took the team into a space where they believed that they can play against anybody their way. And that's what we try to do. We try to, to make sure that we go into every match to play our way impose our our schemes our approach onto the pitch but at the same time to win every single match and give ourselves a chance to 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 win whether it is against chiefs or whether it is against chipper united where unfortunately we got the draw but the the the, the mentality the approach is always to try to to win every football match and, and that's how we prepare we prepare ourselves to to go into matches to win uh, what that means is you've got to win every single day. Every training session must be a win. Uh, every training session must be a session that is fully, fully engaged to, to try to make sure that we improve and we get better than we were yesterday. And, and that's our mentality. It's a culture that was created uh, before. It's a culture that is synonymous with Mamelodi Sundowns, and it's a, cu a culture that we have a responsibility to, to uphold. And uh, that, that is no different when we go into the game against Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, we've got a responsibility to, 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 to go into the match and, and try to, to win the football match. And, 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 and that, that is exactly what we're going to be going to do. Whether that puts us in a position to say we're favourites for the title, I think already we, we, we go into every match as defending champions with that tag already. Uh, we go, when you win the league title, you also win uh, the pressure that comes with uh, being champions. And we've accepted that. Uh, and at Sundowns, you've got to quickly accept because uh, if you don't accept, then you play with pressure and you use pressure as, as an enemy instead of using it as a, as a tool to, to, to help you to get better, you know? And, and, and as I always say, pressure is a privilege. When you have pressure, you must know that you've earned it and you've put yourself in that, in that position. And, and all you, you, you then you do is you, you use it to fuel your performances. And, 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 and that's the mentality that we have at Mamelodi Sundowns. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. We talk about football heritage. Uh, you know, Mourinho spoke a lot about football heritage uh, and, 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 and the football heritage of Mamelodi Sundowns is success uh, that, that goes not just only into, into the ladies and the senior team, but this is a, a, a culture mentality that even though we want to develop the best players within our academy, but part to developing very good players, and, and particularly as you come closer to, to, to the competition phase of development, it's important to, to, to win, and, and, and that's the mentality. The mentality of the club is, is winning, and, and, and we, we, we celebrate uh, our, our women for, for upholding the, the heritage of this club, protecting the image of the club, and, and, and fighting to to continue the legacy that uh, the senior team has, 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 has not just achieved and set, but 
uh, works very hard to continue to 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 establish uh, for the future and for the next generation you know and and that's what we speak about if you if you if you if you've read the book legacy uh, by james Kerr about the all blacks uh, they speak about uh, cleaning the shed and and leaving leaving the shed better than you found it that becomes our responsibility the mandate for our women is as they come in, they look behind to say, in what state did they find the women's, the ladies' team in? And they found it winning and, and winning championships and qualifying for, 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 for the Champions League, the ladies' Champions League, and, and, and achieving incredible things that even go on to spiral into Bastetsan and Banyana Banyana. And, and uh, for those sort of achievements, uh, it would be, uh, improper of us not to 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 extend huge congratulations. We we welcomed them uh, the other day with a, with a beautiful uh, you know a tunnel of of honor, a guard of honor, and uh, it was well deserved. So uh, congratulations once again to Coach Cherry and uh, uh, the entire team for for making the Handel Nation uh, extremely proud. And also, of course, uh, we we celebrate. Uh, in a very humble way, because it, there's a long way to go. I mean, we, we've only just uh, played uh, the two matches, and we only sit on four points. But uh, it's 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 a good it's a good way to 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 start off the qualifiers by beating uh, Ghana and uh, at home, because the away match will be even more difficult. So so congratulations to Hugo Bros. Also, uh, it's good for the national team to to get back into winning ways, but. Uh, of course, I think Hugo Bros and, and, and uh, his people also know that there's still a long way to go. And it's just about being hand, hands on deck, feet firmly on the ground and, 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 and just continue working. And working in the background of knowing that they've got our full support.